Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a question from James Holland. Now he gives his call sign as D25Y31. And uh, I don't interpret that as a call sign. Maybe that's uh, meaning something else. Um, he says, I am using an NFED half-wave 40 through 10 antenna in the bed of a pickup truck. So uh, I guess he's got some sort of a mobile uh, setup that he can use. Um, the center mast of the antenna is a total of 15 feet high. Well, I know that's not terribly high, but it'll still work uh, for nearby stations. You're going to get a signal that goes largely up. Uh, with the metal from the truck, will the metal from the truck interfere with the radiated signal? It says, thank you, Sir James Holland. Will it interfere? It will not interfere per se, but it will affect. Remember that the first, <laughs> the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. And you got a great big hairy old metal object Although these days there's a lot more plastic. Let me back out on this thing so we can see what's going on here. We've got a pickup. Let's see how good I am at drawing a pickup. And you can see that the answer is not very. My wife has uh, all the uh, talent in the family. So uh, you are running an NFED halfway from here. It sounds like there's a pole it's 15 feet high. Uh, up here, and then, yeah, I don't know, you're running it to a tree or something like that, uh, where you are parked. I'm assuming this is a, a portable setup. Okay, now, will this great big chunk of metal affect things? Yes, it will. Let's draw a larger scale picture of that, since the antenna is longer than the truck. We'll put the truck over here. Don't cringe too bad, please. So you've got your 15-foot pole, and then I'm going to think this goes on over here to a tree or something. Okay? And this is N-fed here. All right. Now, on the, um, the ballon that is right here, there are two elements. The ballon has a um, feed point. It has a connector here for the antenna. It has another connector over here for counterpoise. And then it has um, an SO239 that you put a PL259 on and go to your radio. Now the radio you're going to have grounded to the truck. Okay. In this thing right here you may find better results by also grounding this to the truck. Okay, it's not a real earth ground, but it's a chassis ground to the chassis of the truck, okay? Now, one of the problems in trucks today is that many of the metal parts are separated from each other by rubber uh, shock absorbers. So the bed sits on rubber, which sits on the chassis. I mean, they're not big or anything like that, but that does mean they can be insulated from it. So you may have to do a little bonding exercise with braid uh, to get that to work really well. Uh, try this to see if it works, and then, of course, you can put that out there. Now, you've got 15 feet of pole, okay, which is seven and a half feet if you've got two halves of it. You've got to get that into the pickup. Now, I would recommend that you look at two lengths of chain link fence top rail because they're like 10.5 feet each and you get that center 20 feet up in the air, which might give you a little bit better result. Um, if you look at the, the pattern and we're looking along Here's the tr front of the truck right here. Your antenna goes up and then goes back down. Your pattern, because of the lowness here, is going to be kind of high. Okay. 
And anything you can do to raise the center of that will move the pattern down and you'll get further out. Okay? Now, if all you're wanting to do is talk with your local buddies on 80, you're in good shape, uh, or 40, something like that. So, um, so James, I, I think that, you know, what you've got can work very well. I hope those hints help a little bit. And um, for those who would like to contribute to this channel financially, you certainly may. You can go to dcastler.com slash support. Uh, or you can um, just simply subscribe and click like. All of those help the channel. And until we next meet, 73. <laughs>